Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff, looking out into the foggy distance. You know there's a path ahead, but you can't see it clearly. Your heart pounds. Do you move forward, trusting the ground beneath your feet? Or do you stand still, paralyzed by the uncertainty of what lies beyond the mist? Life often feels like that cliff's edge where we encounter moments where the next step is unclear, and we're faced with a choice. Trust God or trust in our own understanding. Today we're going to walk with someone who stood at the edge of life's uncertainties, much like you and me, and learn how trusting God brought them through. Our story begins with a familiar verse, Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. This passage is a bit like a compass. It points us in the direction of true north, God's direction. But following it isn't always easy, especially when life throws curveballs. Let me introduce you to a man named John, whose journey through uncertainty paints a powerful picture of what it means to trust God with all your heart. John was a man of faith, known in his community for his devotion to God. He worked hard, provided for his family, and believed he had life figured out. But one day, everything changed. His company, the one he'd poured decades into, downsized. And just like that, John was without a job. The security he had counted on evaporated overnight, leaving him feeling helpless. With a mortgage, two kids in college, and bills piling up, John was standing at the edge of his cliff staring into a foggy future. John remembered the words of Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6. He had recited them countless times in church, but now they took on a new weight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Could he do that? Could he really surrender control when everything around him felt like it was crumbling? In the days that followed, John wrestled with his faith. He was faced with uncertainty that his experience and knowledge couldn't fix. He was tempted to lean on his own understanding, applying for any and every job, calculating how long his savings would last, trying to control the uncontrollable. But something inside John nudged him. He remembered the second part of that verse. Lean not on your own understanding. It wasn't easy for John to let go of the need to figure everything out. But he began to realize that trusting God meant acknowledging that his own understanding was limited. It meant that while he couldn't see the whole picture, God could. And so, for the first time in his life, John began to lean on something bigger than himself. Surrendering control was the hardest part for John. He had always prided himself on being self-sufficient, the one others looked to for answers. But now, he had no answers. That's when John made a choice. Each day, he would wake up and submit his worries to God. He would pray, not for immediate solutions, but for the strength to trust that God was in control, even when life felt chaotic. John didn't experience an instant miracle. The job offers didn't pour in, and the bills didn't magically disappear. But something changed in him. As he surrendered control, he began to feel a sense of peace that didn't make sense given his circumstances. It was as if God was guiding him through the fog, step by step, without showing him the whole path. Slowly John learned that trust wasn't about knowing what came next, but about believing that God knew. Months passed, and the uncertainty remained, but John clung to another truth. He will make your path straight. There were days when he doubted, when fear crept in and whispered, what if God doesn't come through? But then John would look back. He would remember how God had been faithful in the past, how even in small ways, God had provided for him. Like the time a neighbor unexpectedly brought groceries or when a freelance opportunity came out of nowhere. John learned to trace God's faithfulness like someone piecing together a puzzle. And as he did, he realized that God had been with him all along, even in the uncertainty. 
Every step of the way, God had been making his path straight, guiding him through the twists and turns. John's story might sound familiar to you. Maybe you're standing at your own cliff's edge, unsure of what's next. Maybe the future feels foggy, and you're tempted to lean on your own understanding to take control of the situation. But John's journey reminds us of something powerful. God's plans are greater than ours, and trusting Him doesn't mean having all the answers. It means believing that the one who sees the whole path is leading you, even when you can't see the next step. Here's what John learned, and what we should take to heart. John didn't pretend everything was fine. He poured out his fears to God, trusting that God cared about his struggles. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. When John looked back, he saw God's fingerprints all over his life. Remembering God's past faithfulness helps us trust Him for the future. Trust isn't a one-time decision, it's a daily act of surrender. Like John, we must choose to let go of control each day and trust that God knows best. In the middle of uncertainty, John found comfort in Scripture. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. God's word gives us the direction we need, even when the future seems unclear. John's story isn't about a dramatic rescue or a quick solution. It's about learning to trust God in the middle of uncertainty. Like John, we're called to step forward, even when the path ahead is unclear, trusting that God is guiding us. As you face your own uncertainties, remember Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. If you found this message encouraging, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us share more life-changing lessons from God's Word. Stay connected for more uplifting content.